today on Karamo. Both sides of the family saying this is not your real mother. Seeds of doubt have been planted in her mind. Said, I am sorry, Leah, that your mom is not your real mom. Have her parents been hiding a deep, dark secret? I'm your mom. Did you know that these aunts were saying this? No. Thing? You didn't find it weird that at five years old, your little girl was asking if you're her mom? Could a stranger be her real mother? Have I ever lied to you before? The incredible answer is about to be unlocked. What do you say? But first, Topaz says you ruined her wedding. I wasn't sleeping with anyone in that wedding. Family issues have ruined this sister's relationship. So do not try and take that picture that I am, because I'm not. You're wrong, and you know you're wrong. Mind your business. Is their mother choosing sides? She's a trifling drunk. That's what she's talking about. Mind your business. You need to mind your business. When India was asked to be a bridesmaid for her sister Topaz's wedding, she was honored. But that all changed when she says her sister stabbed her in the back. Now the entire family is in turmoil. Everyone, please welcome India to the show so we can find out her side of this story. Hello. Hi. Um, you look everything. Thank you. Oh, blue, baby, blue. <laughs> May I have a hug? Um, you look beautiful. Yes, you are gorgeous. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So I need to know what happened. So my sister was having a wedding. Okay. And she asked me to be one of her bridesmaids. Mm -hmm. I was told that I was supposed to be walking down separately. And it's because the grooms did not feel comfortable. Because they told the grooms that I'm transgender. Mm. So that's why the grooms did not want to walk down the aisle with me linked arm to arm. So was that exactly what was said about you? Yes. Okay. And, and how did that make you feel when you found this information out? I felt betrayed uh -huh. by my own sister because my thing is, as a black trans woman, I go through that a lot on the outside world. But yeah. my own sister, that was kind of, you know, Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Yes. what I don't like, for one, I wasn't sleeping with anyone in that wedding. So I feel like there was no need for my information to be told to anyone. Mm -hmm. And second, it seems like someone is insecure or something of me because, like, who goes to a wedding and just, like, if you were in an interracial wedding and they told you, oh, I don't feel comfortable walking with you because you're black, you would feel some type of way too. Preach. So, Preach. I mean. Preach. That, that, that is, whoever that man is, I hope he is watching because that makes him a very insecure and little man, the fact that you couldn't walk with a strong, beautiful black woman next to you. And so I understand how you would feel that way. Yeah. Yeah. So you confronted Topaz about this, right? I confronted her and she, <laughs> this is a cold bitch. Mm. She is a cold bitch because she made it seem like I was blowing it out of proportion. She made it seem like I was doing the most. Mm -hmm. I was ruining her wedding. Mm -hmm. She told me, you don't show up, I don't show up to any of your lifetime achievements. And I said, you go low, I go submarine. Uh, you don't show up, you don't show up, I don't show up to your funeral. <laughs> and Ooh. that's, now, that's harsh, that's right is. there. Um, okay, so this is a text exchange between you all. It says, are you in the wedding or not? No, I thought about everything and I no longer wanted to attend. Tell to keep my name out of his mouth. He's not hard to find out here. If you want to keep my nieces away from me, two deuces. But like you say, I can't have my own kids anyway, right? Until you learn to respect, I don't want you nowhere around me or mine because your attitude is not what I want my kids to, is to think is okay. What did I do to disrespect anyone? Simply stand on principle and not want to be in a wedding because I was disrespected? Uh-huh. Got it. I don't understand Did you that. attend? No, I did not. I, I not stood on that. I did not. Okay. It's interesting because half the audience has mixed reactions. Half of y'all are feeling like she should have attended. If you felt like she should have attended, please clap. Okay, so then the rest of you feel like she should have stayed. If you feel like she made, she made the right decision and didn't go, clap. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So when was the last time you spoke to your sister? The last time I spoke to her was that text message right there. Wow. And so Topaz says you ruined her wedding. Do you feel like you ruined her wedding? I don't. Well, why do you think she feels that way? I mean, she's a cold bitch. She's gonna feel like that. She's gonna feel like I ruined it because she can't take accountability. I mean, for one, I feel like they made the whole wedding about me anyway. Mm. 
whether I showed up or didn't, if I would have showed up, everyone would have been looking for the black transgender to show up and walk by herself. If I didn't, they would still look for me not to show up. So mm -hmm. I'm right. damned if I do, damned if I don't. Did you have a good relationship with Tobias before this? Mm, we kind of had a rocky relationship. As teenagers, that's when we started butting heads. And months before that, in that text message, we had gotten into it. And that's when she started calling me a whole bunch of trannies and I can't have kids and, Did she you support know, your transition? I don't think so. Family issues have ruined this sister's relationship. I am not yeah. homophobic at all, so do not try and homophobic take that picture that I am. I used to help you do your wigs, your makeup. Is their mother choosing sides? Topaz, you wrong and you know you wrong. Mind your business. Stay tuned. So mind is, your business. Don't you need to mind your business. This is your mother. So, my sister was having a wedding. Okay. And she asked me to be one of her bridesmaids. I was told that I was supposed to be walking down separately. So, when I asked her about it, she straight up told me that I'm walking down by myself and it's because the grooms did not feel comfortable because they told the grooms that I'm transgender. Did she you support know? your transition? I don't think so. Got it, got it. Do you miss your sister? I miss the relationship with her. I do because, you know, on social media, you see other people going out with their siblings and things like that. I mm -hmm. wish I could have that, but. That's good for me to know because it helps me give me a place of where you're going with this. And like, um, I understand your perspective because as a member of the LGBT community, obviously I need to know what's happening, what's going through, and I understand your struggles. Right. Um, and I recently just went through my sister's wedding, so I kind of understand her point, but I still want to hear her side of this. So everyone, um, this will be the first time Indy and her sister Topaz have seen each other in months, so please welcome Topaz to the show. How are you, Topaz? I'm good. Can I have a hug? Yeah, sure. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Too. So the whole family got fashion sense, I see. Okay, everybody <laughs> know how to dress. All right, I got yes. it. Yes. So this is the first time you're seeing you two are in the same room. How does it make you feel? Um, a little upset. Uh huh. A little upset because I heard you back you're painting bit. you're painting a picture as if I'm homophobic. How am I and one thing a I'm not you is said homophobic. What you said. I asked you, can you, you be a part of my said. wedding? Correct. You I did not ask you. I you said, did? can you be a bridesmaid? I Correct? did. And what okay. did I say? Yes, Okay. Right? It was five men that were the groomsmen, okay? Okay. They already knew you before you even transgendered over. So it's not my point to be no, like, oh, he's a man. No, you made it seem like no. you told them. You That's took it and you blew it me. out of proportion. Oh, you blew them. it out of proportion. No, I did not. I even asked no, you. I, I said, you I don't said care I what them. nobody has to say. I want you to be a part of my wedding. You did not say all of that. I did, not. and then you I did asked not say you, all of that. if you don't you want to be in the wedding, can you sit in the crowd? Can you sit in the crowd, please, because I want you there? You did not say all of I that, or you, we would not be here. I am not homophobic at all, so do not try and take that picture that I am, because I'm not. Homophobic And you know that. So I you know that. So I used I to help you do your wigs, your makeup, I'm, I'm everything. Trendy. What about Don't. those other comments? I can't have what kids other and all that. That was the first thing you said when we got into it. you said she blew it out of proportion. What happened? I asked her to be a part of my she big day, right? I'm not playing the victim. She agreed. Okay, my husband's groomsmen, they already know Indy prior to her transgendering over. Right. Transition, okay. yes. Transition, uh -huh. yes. So with that being said, I said, Indy, they had a problem with holding her hand. That was the only issue, okay? I said, you know what? I don't even care about none of that if they got a problem holding your hand, I still want you walking in my wedding. I don't you have a problem with that at all. all. That. Yes, I Tell did. Us, if you would have said all of that, you... I would have still attended. You missed an appointment. But point. you just if you told them if that you you're not Topaz, you're you wrong and you know you're wrong, Topaz. If we would have sat down Topaz, and had a Topaz, you're wrong and you know you're wrong. Mind your business and sit your ass down. Mind don't your business. Mind your business. Mind your business. You need to mind your business. This is your mother Donna, right? Mind your business. This is my business. That's why I'm here. Donna, I want to welcome you to the I show. Thank you. Thank you. So, Thank you. these are your daughters. And yeah. clearly, I just this saw immediately I that knew, there's, tension be between, like there's tension between you and Topaz because of the way that you all communicated there. What's going on and what, what has happened from your perspective? What's happening, if it don't go Topaz way, it's the highway. Mm. With Topaz, she's always right. She always likes to bring up the past, which is wrong because we all have a past at the end of the day. At the end of the day, I'm your mother, Missy. 
She's a trifling drunk. That's what she is. First of all, I'm not a drunk. I don't even drink anymore, sweetie. It's a mother and daughter dealing with major issues. She's a toxic mother, and she likes to so turn all of us against each other. So you say. Is there still time for this family to come back together? Something brand new has just occurred to me, and I realize there's a bigger issue here. You're painting a picture as if I'm homophobic. How am I and one thing a I'm not you is said homophobic. What you said. I asked you, can you, you be a part of my said. wedding? Correct? You I did, did not ask you. I said, you I don't said care I what them. nobody has to say. I them. want you, you to be a part of my all wedding. Of that. That don't Topaz, have a conversation. you wrong and you know you're wrong. Mind your business. If it don't go Topaz way, it's the highway. At the end of the day, I'm your mother, Missy. Hello? You, oh, you you talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Oh, okay. And when things don't go her way, I don't get to see my grandchildren. Mm. Mom, you just put me, None you just put do. papers I out on me and my on, on my children to try and get full custody. No, and, no, um, I didn't try uh, to get visitation full custody. Rights. I did not yes, try to get did. full custody. Yes, you did. You tried to drag me and my husband through court because you rights. couldn't see the kids. Grandparents and you rights. no abuse or neglect, so the charge was dropped. Wait, because I wasn't expecting this part right here, and now something new has opened up. She's a trifling drunk. That's what you First of all, I'm not a drunk. I don't even drink anymore, sweetie. So I, so you said that you, you're saying that your mother called CPS on you, and you're saying that you requested no, grandparents' rights. No, I didn't right. call CPS on okay. her. Okay, so you requested grandparents' rights. Yes, through she the court. She just wants okay. to visitation. Visitation. Yes. Full yes. custody but is what the paperwork says. Grandparents rights, when grandparents' rights are requested, it's usually saying that the parent is delinquent in a way. It is not actually about just me getting visitation. It doesn't work the same way as it works like in a custody battle between two people. Okay. So were you aware of that? No, I wasn't aware of that. And okay. when I became aware of that, I dropped it. Got it. Okay, then got it. So you found no, out. No, you in... couldn't prove abuse I and neglect, it. so the charges were I dropped, dropped it. I said you are a phenomenal mother. Y'all always gang up mother. on me. This is what I mean with you. Me and Indy are sitting here having a conversation, and instead of you being a mother and saying y'all need to work this out and get it together, you're immediately jumping to her side. No, like I'm, not you on yes, I'm not you jumping do. on nobody's side. I'm not jumping on nobody's side. I'm on both of y'all sides. Y'all now. No, you're not. I'm on both of y'all sides. You just sides. jumped to defense mode just now. Well, I apologize. I apologize. It sounds like she feels like she gets ganged up on by the I do. And that's not the case. She's, That's not the, the case. she's a toxic mother, and she likes to so turn say, all of us against each other. So you say, you no, like I don't turn y'all against each other. You like to turn all of us each against other. each other. No, That's I don't. That's exactly what you do. Okay. I'm um, tired of uh, it. Donna, how was your relationship with Topaz as a child? It was beautiful. It was marvelous. It was? It was great. From your perspective as well? A lot of drugs and alcohol in the household. A lot. Okay. It was a very toxic household. Yes, it Got was. It. Domestic violence and everything. Don't sit here and lie. Don't sit Got here it. and lie. Speak it. Got it. Speak Got it. it. Y'all want to gang up on me? So Nobody's let's talk about the truth. Nobody's ganging up on you. Let's talk Nobody's about the ganging truth. Up on you. Let's talk the truth now. Nobody's ganging up let's on you. Let's talk the truth. You don't have Nobody nothing to say now. Nobody is ganging up on you. You don't have nothing to say now, but we you all just have a past. Up on me a few we all have ago. a past. I'm not worried about the past. Right, I'm worried about did, now. Did, you, did no. you all both grow up with your mom? Yes, they well, both did. I grew up with her and my father. We have different fathers. So when they, her father and my mother separated, we, me and my brothers, we went with our father, and she went back with her father. Okay, no, so y'all weren't... No, you left me in New York City with oh, our grandmother. You left me in New York City with our grandmother, and you took you, your husband, and your three children, and you ran to South Carolina, and you left me there to fend for myself. That's I, what you did. Actually, I did That's not. That's what you no, did I for did not. years. Yes, I did yes, not you leave did. you nowhere to fend yes, for yourself. You did. No, you I did not. You didn't, you didn't figure out nothing. You didn't bring me with you. You didn't give you came, me, you came to visit. You came to visit. I never Topaz. came to South Carolina. Yes, you did. You came told to me, visit. Don't go down there because they're gonna abuse okay, you. Okay, I, I just realized something. Um, I know how to solve mm -hmm. this quickly. We need to go to this because something brand new has just occurred to me, and I realize there's a bigger issue here. So, would you like my advice? Yes. I do believe there was a miscommunication breakdown. I think, and I, I'm not gonna ever take away the way you feel. Mm -hmm. I don't believe that your sister um, is transphobic. I believe that she became, her anger came out and she used transphobic slurs that it was wrong and it hurt you. I think in that moment, you could have both acknowledged each other's feelings and communicated a little better. Right. From her experience, uh, you know this, uh, that her being told someone doesn't want to touch me, right. doesn't want to hold my hand, right. instead of her being having to walk alone, because in her, it feels, and I, don't let me speak separated. for you, it's like you're separated, you're being punished, mm -hmm. versus this man who's not your family, him being punished. Correct. And so you know that when people get rejected, it hurts them. It does. So both of y'all lashed out. Yeah. I understand why, and I understand where it comes from now. Mm -hmm. Can you acknowledge to your sister that the way you went about this, 
that maybe y'all could have communicated and that you acknowledge that her feelings were hurt and that like yes, her being. Yes, I apologize for what I did. I'm sorry if you felt that way. I really am, Thank okay? You. I would never, ever, ever disrespect you or any anything about you. I love you. Do you accept that? I accept the apology. Perfect, good, Thank good, good. You. Can y'all give each other a hug and lace on that? Because I want to make sure that's resolved. I was able to. Now, Mom. <laughs> now, Mom. Oh. Mom, would you join me on stage? There. Mom, please, nice to meet you. Thank you for Thank you, thank yes. you. May I have a hug? Yes. Thank you. So please take a seat for me. So tell me what's going on from your perspective. Okay, basically, she likes to see us all at odds with each other. Oh. She's the reason, she's part of the reason why we all get into it. Got it. It was at one point when none of my three siblings were speaking to me because of her. Oh, wow. Our brother, that's not true. Our, our brother that's away right now at the moment, he does not talk to me because she told him some drama. Got it. Indy, instead of her being a mother and saying, Indy, you need to sit down with your sister, you need I to did. work things out. I did do that. Blah, blah, blah. You love the that. drama. You mother. like drama. You love the drama. India, okay? is it correct that when this happened between you two, did your mother sit you down and say? She she did um, come to me several times and say that we did need to have a conversation, but we both were hesitant on, you know. Okay. Do, you feel, do you feel like your mother instigates stuff? I wouldn't say she instigated, but sometimes when they added each other, at the same time, and then if me and her have a problem at the same time, it's kind of like, oh, well, we both not messing with her at the same time. Oh. So, I mean, okay. we just not speaking. Which well. validates your feeling of feeling ganged up on. Yes, Got all it. the time. Heard it. Okay. So, from your point of view, Donna, what's going on with your, your daughter? Why do you think y'all have a problem? I haven't seen my grandkids in almost a year. Why uh -huh. is that? Why because if I, don't, did you do? if I don't go by what you what want did me you to do? do, Topaz, don't sit here and do what that. What did you do? You tell me what I did. I always you do stuff. You showed I'm always pictures. The victim. You did something I, to, with my best friend. You, you started up some drama with my best friend, showing her and comparing pictures of the kids to different people. It's not the father. It, just being messy. So she told other people that your child's father was not your child's father? Yes. Whatever, Topaz. Then Is that true? I That's not true. It's I always two sides her. to a story. I want to hear it. That's, That's not true. Because she's messy. Her? No, actually, I'm not messy, sweetie. You the messy point, one. At this point, we are messy. Mm. But do, is, do they always go back like this? Is yes. it always? This is constant. And we get yes. nowhere. We gonna get nowhere. She likes to talk about stuff that we happened 20 messy. and 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. I don't do drugs mm -hmm. anymore. Yeah. So you're saying that you don't do drugs no more? No, so I've been stopped bring, doing when drugs. When she brings up your past, how does it make you feel? It makes me feel horrible. It used to make me feel horrible. Now that I have grown up and that's behind me, it don't make me feel no type of way yeah. now. Because that's not me. So what? Well, what, you have to stop oh. being messy. Stop so being messy, you. man. So do you. You have to stop when being is it like messy, messy? Are you Hold crazy? We just, we just got a, a ping from your son, Tavion? Yes. OK, let's listen to what Tavion has said. Don't go away. How do you feel about what your son said? Stop being so messy. Be a positive person. Be a better mother. A revelation that will change everything. Did you know that? Is about to come out. Plus, I'm your mom. Is this woman her real mom? Both sides of the family sides. saying this is not your real mother. You are the cop. Get off my stage. I do believe there was a miscommunication breakdown. I think, and I, I'm not gonna ever take away the way you feel, mm -hmm. I don't believe that your sister um, is transphobic. There's a bigger issue here. You were saying that you don't do drugs no more. No, so I've been stopped doing when drugs. When she brings up your past, how does it make you feel? It makes me feel horrible. No. Wait, how are we gonna ever no. get somewhere? So, I came on this show to move forward. So what- Well, what, you have to stop being messy. We just got a ping from your son, Tavion? Yes. Okay, let's listen to what Tavion has said. I'm only 19 years old. I'm tired of being the one bringing this all together. We got to do better as a family. And Ma, I think you should start out by apologizing first. Oh. How do you feel about what your son said? 
Um, he's the one that he's like the me you know, he's like the mediator. Got when it. we all going crazy, he's the one that we all go to and we take his advice and we listen. Got but it. at the end of the day, Topaz. Well the advice he just said right now is it sounds like he's taking Topaz's side that there is some issues here. There is some issues. Okay. But he's saying that it might start with you. It might it might start with me. Uh-huh. It might. I apologize. I've changed. You say that every time. All right, see, once again. What type of apology do you need from your mom? I need her to genuinely be sorry and change her ways. She says sorry all the time. She no, when I don't she messes say sorry up all the time. or when she does something messy. But change her ways. What do you mean? It's Meaning, stop being so messy. Be a positive person. Be a better mother. Be more positive about stuff. I do, stop Topaz. Doing First of all, most. I didn't come to this show to get disrespected. Like you I'm just I'm not disrespected. disrespecting you. Yes, you I'm did. Bringing up my past. Yes, you did. Okay, mom. All right. All right. Topaz, I, mean, I, will I will say this. I will say this. I'm not saying you're not valid for how you feel, mm -hmm. but we, if we're going to keep everyone accountable, just like I'm yes. holding her accountable, yes. okay. you were disrespectful to your mother. I mean, okay. the first thing she jumped Thank up, you, you ran out of your mouth with her. So, I, so, I, then, so I'm just saying, Thank if we're going to keep the narrative truthful for everyone, yes. I'm sure, I'm not saying that you weren't valid for how you're feeling, mm -hmm. but if you said, I've never been disrespectful, we got it on camera. The first Thank thing you. she did when she jumped up, you, you cussed out and told her to sit Thank the you. F down. Right. Thank you. Because yeah. she, cause she jumped now, what in did his I do? defense yeah. instead of being more mutual about the situation. Okay. Topaz, I told But, Mom, you were also disrespectful as well. Yeah. I'm okay, it. I just want to be clear. I'm it. I'm Topaz, it. you dead wrong. You dead. How are you going to start off saying that when Kar Karamo just said me and Indy both was wrong? Like, it's, it's, were you listening? Then you just stand up. Topaz, you dead wrong. You dead wrong. You have to keep on repeating. All right, but you, you got to stop jumping. You got to stop doing that and just be mutual. You have four children, not three. You have three. Okay, and I will be very mutual with my children. Good. They're wrong, they're wrong. So you feel like she's never given you this equal never. amount of love and support? No. Okay, she said early on that when she was younger, I heard it and I wrote it down quickly. She said that when she was younger, and before you got with her father or something of that nature, I missed a little bit of that story, that she was raised with her grandmother, that you left her alone in New York. You said you got left in New York. So she's already felt, how old were you at that age? Um, maybe about 10. So mm -hmm. you were 10 about, years about, old. About 11 or 12. Okay. Either way, it's young. Mm -hmm. And she felt like she then at that point was left behind. Mm -hmm. I had to learn how to do my own hair by myself. I had to learn things that you was te that you were supposed to be there to teach me. I apologize. You don't. I you can don't take understand. accountability for my actions. I apologize. I apologize once again. You are a beautiful, phenomenal woman, a daughter. Just keep that attitude. The problem is, is that <laughs> the problem is, is that you're telling her to let go of the feelings that she's had, but. That's easier said than done for you because you've grown past it, but she's still, and I think this is something that I talk about constantly on the show, is that when it comes to our kids, kids are still in that age. Even though she's grown, mm -hmm. she just told you that, I heard a little kid talking. I needed my mother to teach me how to brush my hair to do these things, and she didn't have it. So when you say, get over it, it's in the past, I'm sorry, I understand why she feels like it's insincere. Mm. My granny used to always tell me, you got two ears and one mouth, you're supposed to be doing one double time. And I think in this moment, you're supposed to be listening to her a lot more than you're saying sorry. Okay. All right. Do you feel like your mother ever truly just listens to you? No. You don't. Tell your mother. You don't listen to me. You don't listen to me. I do listen to you. No, you don't. I, I remember when there was a time when we were like, I, I know I'm your mother, but we were like best friends as well. Well. Do you remember yeah. that time? Not really, no. Yeah. She's looking at it from her perspective. I never. You never consider her your best friend. I can't sit down and. Ma, when's the last time you gave me a hug? It's a been kiss, a long time ago. I, I love you. Karamo. You don't do that. I can relate to her on that because we didn't really grow up with the I love yous and the hugs and the kisses in the household. Got it. Both of your daughters have told you right now that they didn't grow up feeling like they got love from mom. They, your daughter just also confirmed it right now. She just said, like, we didn't grow up in that household. Well, I apologize. At that time, I didn't love myself. Mm. So if you can't love yourself, you can't love nobody else. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand that. Did y'all know that about her okay, at that point? Okay, but why I didn't, didn't you that. leave? If you felt that way, why didn't you leave and try and give us a better childhood? Can I stop you somewhere? Yes. Because I asked your mother to listen to you, and when she just said something, you acknowledged it. She told you that she didn't even love herself back then. Did you know that? I'll... And I'm not trying to say as a child that that was your, your job, right. but what we're trying to do is that right now, same way I said to her, two ears, one mouth, mm -hmm. 
your mother just expressed something to you. And I think part of the breakdown here is that now that y'all are acknowledging the vulnerability, y'all yeah. are y'all are y'all are saying, I see it. Y'all like, okay, I got it. Okay, I got it, I hear you. But y'all are just not listening to each other. Y'all not. There's no empathetic listening in this relationship. Mm -hmm. Different than listening, empathetic listening. Like I'm really listening. Your mother said she didn't love herself. And again, I understand you had your own trauma. Yes. But you took a moment and was like, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I did not know you was feeling that way. And I know you have your own pain, but I just want you to take a moment and think. I can only imagine what that feeling is like. Probably horrible, especially having to still be a mom to four kids and get up and care for us and stuff like that. I'm sorry you felt that way. Thank you. I'm sorry. What your daughter just did is she modeled, she modeled exactly what y'all got to start doing for each other. I can understand the frustration and you trying to protect your children. And I think all of y'all can remind each other that like, yo, when I'm feeling like I'm not being heard, say to each other, okay, I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna use these two more than I do this. I think that's a lesson for all of y'all. I think this is, all y'all gotta do is this to each other. Listen more. Listen, you can't choose your family, but you can choose how you react and how you listen to them. Absolutely. <laughs> And so I just wish y'all the best of luck with that. Before I go, your daughters both said they don't feel the love and affection. With, instead of saying something, just show them right now. I'll give them a hug. Do you want it, though? Yeah. Ask them. Do you, Do you want can it? Can I hug you? Do you want it? I love you. I love you. I love you, sir. There's, there's, there's some more work that needs to be done here. But hopefully, I've given you a little bit of a step for you to be heard. Do you feel a little heard? I feel a little. You yes. do, yes. you do, a good. Do you feel a little bit hurt yes. and seen? I, do you feel hurt and seen? I do. Good, as long as y'all can use this as the first step to keep moving on. Listen, I'm gonna give y'all my number. If y'all need some help too, call, <laughs> give me a call, all right? I'm Y'all call me and be like, hey, she ain't listening. Okay, I'm gonna be like, okay, put on the phone. I'm gonna get y'all, all right? Okay, all right, good luck, you. all right? Thank you for being with us, all right? That I am sorry, Leah, that your mom is not your real mom. Seeds of doubt have been planted in her mind. I'm your mom. Both sides of the family Both sides. saying this is not your real mother. Have her parents been hiding a deep, dark secret? You didn't find it weird that at five years old, your little girl's asking if you're her mom? Growing up, Leah's life may have looked picture perfect from the outside, but she believes her parents are hiding a deep, dark secret about who her real mother is. Leah says she needs a DNA test to find out if Lynn really is her biological mother. Everyone, please help me welcome Leah to the show. Hi. Hello. Hey. How are you? Have a hug? Well, nice you. to meet you. Come take a seat for me. Thank you, thank you. Um, so I have to know, why do you believe that the woman who raised you isn't your biological mother? I am so glad you asked. Let me start you from the beginning. Okay, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, and we have an aunt on my mother's side. And she, she was older. She was definitely not all the way there. But we would go and see her every once in a while. And when we would she would actually give me stuffed animals. Okay. She gave me a multitude of them, and these are the only ones I have left. And every time she handed me one, she'd hand it to me, and she'd tell me, Leah, this is from your real mother. Oh. And on top of that, it was, this is your real mother. It was, um, your mom loves you. Just random stuff like that. And I'm four or five years old. I mean, yeah. I don't know how to rationalize if my mother's my mother. So we fast forward a little bit, and I'm about 15 at this point, and my other aunt on my father's side, she had gotten a little tipsy, and just said, I am so sorry, Leah, that your mom is not your real mom. She said, you'll find out who your real mom is. So you have, you got women and aunts on both sides of the family. Both sides. Saying this is not your real mother. Somebody to be giving you teddy bears, and to put that seed of doubt in your mind as a child, of course you're gonna think that the woman's raiding you isn't your real mother. Exactly. When did you finally confront your mother about these rumors that these women are telling you? 
I didn't know what to do, yeah. but I went and I asked my mom. I said, Mama, how do I know you're my mama? And she goes, well, well, because I gave birth to you. And I go, well, how do I know that? And she told me, she was like, well, Leah, I don't know what to tell you. You came from me. You're mine. I love you. Uh, you you're my daughter. So then, on top of that, with all of those two factors and my aunts into play, there are pictures of her pregnant. It's just one of those things where pictures are easily, easily changed. It could have been she was pregnant with my brother and taking the picture, oh, here, Leah, this is me pregnant with you. Oh. And it's not me. Has your mother ever said to you, like, I'm not your real mom? We would be talking, and it would be random stuff, like, I, prom time comes around, you know, you want to wear a nice dress, look yeah. all pretty. And I would go and find one that I like, but it'd be a little too expensive. And she would just make a side comment like, well, maybe your real mom will buy it for you. Oh. Mm. Mm. It's just seeds of doubt are just being planted in your mind over Constantly. and over again. Who do you think is your real mom then? I mean, there's a chance that maybe one of the women he used to ran with, there was this lady. Mm. It was almost too friendly, too yes. much, uh -huh. too quick, especially for someone I've never seen. And it was all touching my shoulder, touching my hair, saying, oh, you are so beautiful. You have grown up into such a lovely lady. Mm. Well, how did you know how I looked when I was younger, you yeah. know? It's just little things like that. You took a DNA test to figure out if this is your biological mother. If you find out she isn't, what will happen? I'm gonna be honest with you. Me and my mother, she is my best friend. And even if she is not my mom, she will always be my mom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, yeah. Got it. Your mom. All right, well, listen, I wanna hear from Lynn, the woman who raised you. So everyone, please help me welcome Lynn to the show. You think I couldn't be your mother. You are a miracle to me. I was never supposed to have children. You are my firstborn. You are my endless love. You are my life. I was, that's the happiest I've ever been. That day when I found out I was pregnant, I have never been happier. Not wedding, prom, nothing. Career, it's all been about you. You was what kept me alive. I love you from the heart. I'm your mama. And I am so sorry that there are diabolical people that on both sides of our family that would say something like that to a child and a teenager when they know how long I wanted a baby. And I even told your dad when we first met and talked about the future what we would want. And I asked him, and he said, I just want to settle down and have a wife and a family. And I said, I, said, I, can't, I can't give you children. And he said, that's fine. We'll adopt. And he You've heard this story, Leah, 150 times. You were a miracle. Your father told me, you're pregnant. We went and had the test, and I was pregnant with you. And since we went that night and bought a baby rattle. I understand that, I do. And I understand that you're telling me these things and all this other stuff, but I'm serious. I mean, you can sit here and you can say that all you want, but I truly believe that if you aren't my mother that you wouldn't tell me because of your love for me. You'd think that it would change. Have I ever lied to you before? I'm your mom. Could a stranger be her real mother? My baby's hurt. Have her parents been hiding a deep, dark secret? Did you know that these aunts were saying this thing? No, I'd have beat the brakes off that. <laughs> I wore her out. The incredible answer is about to be unlocked. What do you say? And every time she handed me one, she'd hand it to me and she'd tell me, Leah, this is from your real mother. Oh. And on top of that, my other aunt on my father's side, she had gotten a little tipsy and just said, I am so sorry, Leah, that your mom is not your real mom. If you find out she isn't, what will happen? Even if she is not my mom, she will always be my mom. Yeah. 
You were a miracle. If you aren't my mother, you wouldn't tell me because of your love for me. You'd think that it would change. Have I ever lied to you before? No, but it... Exactly! I'm your mom! Lynn, I gotta tell you this. Thank you for coming here. Great to yes, meet sir. you. Yes, sir. Very you, nice to yeah, meet you. Yeah, you look beautiful, by the Thank way. You. Thank yes. you. Yes. Um, I want to know, did you know that these aunts were saying this thing? No. Yeah. No, sir. You did not? I did not. Had I have known, the aunt on my side of the family is 50 years older than me. The one that was giving her the stuffed animals. Mm -hmm. She's quite older. Me being a good person and a Christian lady, I would have never done anything to her but kept my daughter away from her and we would have never met again. Mm -hmm. Now, my husband's sister, she's my age. I'd have beat the brakes off that bitch. <laughs> I'd have wore her ass out. I'd have drug her through her own home town behind her own damn little truck. Yes, I hear that. Oh my gosh, did you joke with Leah that she was not your daughter? Well, when she first asked me, you know, and every once in a while she would say something. So yes, I made up a character, Regina, because when she would come in after a bad day at school or want something or whatever, I'd say, tell your real mom, Regina will help you, you know, because I did not realize what had happened to my child. Yes. And she was joking and she'd do the same thing. She'd see something or she'd be watching something on TV at it like she'd say, well, my real mom would let me and we would laugh. I'm sorry, but you didn't find it weird that at five years old, your little girl's looking at you asking if you're her mom? Mm. And on, on top of that, look at my father. I mean, I'm sorry, but me and my brother look identical to our father. How are you doing, sir? Good, yourself. Nice to meet you. So how do you feel about all of this knowing? How does it make you feel here? I didn't know my baby was touched so much by someone that was so disturbed in our lives. And now she's disturbed with it. Yes. And now it's taking a burden upon me because my baby's hurting. All I want out of this is for my baby to have peace of mind. Mm -hmm. Yes. For her to be at ease and not worry about who her mother is. Yeah. Be thankful she's got a mother. Amen. Okay, I hear that. Thank you so much, Thomas, for being here. Yeah. I mean, I definitely can see the confusion. Um, and I also understand why you had went along with these jokes, because you thought this was just a fun little silly moment. You know, these, these is, little teddy bears caused a lot of pain. I thought my, I saw it. I remember some of the stuffed animals that she gave to my child. Yeah. And I didn't realize the damage that was taking place during the hug. Got it. Got it. Well, it's time for the DNA outcome. You've been waiting your entire life to know if this is your real mother. You've been told by family members over and over again that this isn't your mother. You have had jokes that have made you believe maybe this isn't your mother. Are you ready to find out the truth? I don't have a choice. <laughs> you do always have a choice, but I think you're ready. Before I open this, I just want to do one thing. No matter what's in this envelope, I love you with all of me. Is this woman her real mom? What do you say? An incredible moment you'll never forget is next. Did you know that these aunts were saying this thing? No. Yeah. No, sir. You did not. I did not. Had I have known, I'd have beat the brakes off that <laughs> All I knew was my child. I'm sorry, but you didn't find it weird that at five years old, your little girl's looking at you asking if you're her mom? Are you ready to find out the truth? I don't have a choice. <laughs> Before I open this, I just want to do one thing. No matter what's in this envelope, I love you with all of me. I know that. And I would not be half the woman I am today without you, without him, without my brother, and without my grandma. I and love, I love that. I love that, but you wouldn't be any of the woman you are today without me. <laughs> I hope. And I really hope that I look like a complete moron who questioned the maternity of their mother. And you Wrong. wouldn't look like a complete moron. We all heard the facts that led you to feel this way. Every single one of us here would have a question in our hearts about what we're doing. And that's... But now, yeah. But now you get the answers. You're shaking. A I, see bit. Your hand, I see your hands <laughs> shaking. I'm You're sorry. Nervous. I'm getting... Yeah. No worries. No worries. All right. My hands aren't shaking. <laughs> what do you say? You are. Lynn is your biological mother. <laughs> I told you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You want to come on down, Dad? You come on down.
I told you. I told you. I told you. I love you. I love y'all. I love you more. I'm sorry Leah. I ever doubted you. Um, Leah, you now know that little girl is safe. I do. You can start to heal that doubt. Set you don't know what you've done for me. You really <laughs> don't. So much you're very welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm so sorry that you had to go through that as a little girl. But now you have answers. This is your mom. She loves you. Thank but listen, you. good luck with everything. Bad. Good luck with everything. Thank you. All right, everyone. Thank you for being with us. Yes, Make sure to come you. back next time, friends, so we can keep talking and we can keep growing. I love you all.